Spiritual gift inventories have become all the rage in some church circles. At least they were when I was in pastoral ministry. We seem preoccupied with helping new believers identify their spiritual gifts and talents. There's nothing wrong with that, but it reflects our business way of doing church as we create roles and positions. Then we assess people based on their talent level to fulfill those roles. It's not much different from personality profiles used by corporations and admissions counselors to help their employees and students discern strengths and narrow down career paths and degree plans. We tend to overlay what we call God's will on top of this approach. We spiritualize the whole process. God is leading you to be a singer. You are so organized. God has designed you to go into administration. The Lord gave you the gift of hospitality. I can tell because of how friendly and kind you are. While there is mention of spiritual gifts in the New Testament, the overwhelming emphasis is on fruit. Qualifications for service and leadership were based on character, not talent. This move from focusing on spiritual gifts or talents to spiritual fruit represents the second significant mindset shift in this series. In our last module, we discussed the need to shift from activity to identity in our understanding of the church. Now we see the need to shift from gifts to fruit in our understanding of Christian character and our witness to those around us.